former Army Staff Sergeant Trevor Colt, who won the Military Cross in Iraq, labeled the prince absolutely appalling for his criticisms of the royal family and for his scathing six-part Netflix docuseries. Leading royal experts on both sides of the Atlantic are also warning that the rift between Princes Harry and William may never be healed. It comes as a Sunday Express poll reveals a mere 2% of the UK population still support the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. An overwhelming two-thirds, 66%, also said they support William and Kate, while 63% say that Harry and wife Meghan should be stripped of their titles. Staff Sergeant Colt declared, I find it absolutely appalling that Harry and Meghan spend every living moment trying to bring down the monarchy. Sergeant Colt told how he watched friends die on the battlefield and his own mental health suffered before he was discharged with PTSD. But he insisted, we were prepared to make these sacrifices because we understood what duty to the crown meant. Harry should have a serious think about the damage he is doing to those soldiers whose morale he is undermining with his constant attacks on the monarchy. There are probably many veterans wondering if their sacrifices were worth it after hearing what Harry has been saying. Harry served in the army for 10 years between 2005 and 2015, rising to the rank of captain in the household cavalry's blues and royals and serving two frontline tours of Afghanistan. He has since worked tirelessly to support veterans and wounded servicemen and women, including through his Invictus Games. Former Staff Sergeant Colt, 47, served five tours in Iraq and Afghanistan with the Royal Irish Regiment, before being discharged on medical grounds. He was awarded the Military Cross in 2006 for drawing fire in a machine gun ambush to allow other soldiers in a convoy of trucks time to escape. Along with widespread condemnation of the royal couple in the UK, the tide is also turning in the US dash despite the fact that their Netflix series, Harry and Meghan, is already the biggest documentary in the streaming giant's history. It has racked up 81.55 million viewing hours worldwide after last week's final three episodes. TV chat show co-host and columnist Meghan McCain, daughter of late U.S. Senator and presidential candidate John McCain, fumed after the latest shows, Kiss America Goodbye, Harry and Meghan, You Finally Lost Us. We're covering our eyes, plugging our ears and screaming, please God, make it stop. Ames McCain blasted the couple's refusal to name names or give specific details about their accusations of palace racism and bullying. She said, that's their style, all tease and no payoff. We still don't know the identity of the royal racist. We have no tangible proof the royal family is institutionally racist. Even the August New York Times admitted in a review of reviews. Some critics have had their fill of the couple's account. One critic labeled the series out of touch, self-absorbed and cornier than a Hallmark movie. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond described it as shot through with vitriol. And, like fellow critics, she was left wanting, you have had six hours to dish the dirt, we needed names, places, dates. She also believes that a reconnection with the royal family is now almost inconceivable. Royal author Margaret Holder said, This was a study in jealousy dressed up as a rom-com, a love story about a Hollywood actress W.